immediately find himself back in the overworld. Steve was confused, but he just shook it off and continued towards the player village. Eventually reaching the village, Steve spotted Alex heading into the woods. Following behind her, he found her fishing in a clearing. Sensing something watching her, Alex turned around, only to see an empty tree line. Hearing a splash, she quickly turned back towards the water as it slowly turned red. Unsettled, she backed away before a bloody figure emerged from the waters. Horrified, Alex was about to run when she recognized Steve. He said nothing, only staring at her. What happened to you? Alex kept trying to get answers, but Steve was only interested in one thing. Revenge! He punched Alex, sending her flying back. Out of breath, she tried to get through to him, but Steve just walked towards her with death in his eyes. Alex suddenly tossed out an enchanted diamond helmet. I know you wanted a new helmet, so... I used some of my diamonds to make you this. Please, Steve, you're my friend. Steve looked up from the armor at Alex and hit her back against the tree. He didn't care. Steve was dead. Now only blood Steve remained. Not wanting to fight, Alex weakly fled towards the village as he slowly followed. He was going to savor every second of this. As he returned to the player village for Alex, he found a group of three players clad in diamond armor waiting for him. Alex had warned some others of Steve's attempt on her life, and they came to defend her with a haunting <laughs> laugh. Steve rushed towards them. However, these players were all the attack, holding up their 